Welcome to Tightwad Workshop. We'll get the materials for our Mark 1 tool tote from a pallet like this. Once you've dismantled it, you'll have thin boards for the body, a thick board for the handle, and enough nails to join all the parts together. After finishing the saw stool project, I noticed that the square built into the saw handle wasn't quite accurate. This is how to test a square. You should end up with two nice parallel lines. This is the result when we do the same test using the saw handle. It looks more like a slice of pie. We'll be buying a combination square for the Group V toolkit, so I'm going to use it to finish this project. I'll show some alternative options for marking 90 degree cuts in another video. Mark out and cut the parts in the same way as we did with the saw stools. If the end of the board is cracked or not square, mark and cut a fresh end on it. Once that's done, mark and cut the boards as shown in the plans. You can find free plans for this project on our website. They're hand-drawn with the loving care and attention that only Tightwad Workshop can provide. Check the links in the video description. The plans specify some 25mm, 1 inch, wide pieces for the cross braces. Mark them on a piece of the thin board, then saw them out. Next, mark the tapered angle on one of your end pieces, as shown on the plans. These thin boards are easy to split, so start the cut from this end. Then flip the piece around to finish the cut. Now use the piece you just cut as a template to mark the other three end pieces. Then cut them in the same way. Save the four wedges you just cut off the ends. We'll use them to make a clamp in a future project. Next, get your double saw stool and mark one of the thick boards for the handle. You need to saw it straight down the middle. Next, we need to sand the rough edges and corners from all the parts. The sandpaper will tear more easily if you fold it first. Wrap the sandpaper round a piece of scrap timber and go to work. Our nails are too long for this joint, so we have to shorten 12 of them. Just snip them to length with your pliers. You 
Use a couple of temporary nails to hold the cross brace in position. Then flip it over and nail it using those short nails you just made. Flip it over again and remove the temporary nails. Mark the angles for the top brace, then cut it to size. Attach the top brace using the short nails. Put one of the assembled end pieces over the edge of your saw stool and line up the centres of the bottom boards. Attach the bottom boards with nails. It's easier to start the nails in the bottom boards first, although that does make the previous step a bit pointless. One of the bottom boards wasn't the same width along its whole length, so we'll need to saw a little bit off it. Tidy up the saw cut with sandpaper. Find the best sides of each of the sideboards. You want those ones facing outwards. Now attach the sides with nails. Test fit the handle. If you already have a chisel, you can shape a handhold in the middle of the handle. This can always be done later, it's just more convenient to do it now. Finally, Nail on the handle through each end piece and you are done. That's all for now. Thanks for watching.